Hello. Hello, welcome back, Shahina. Do you have a break? Oh, uh, yeah. How is your birds? Still there in your house or flew away? Oh, uh, no, they're still there. Really? Yeah. I see. So maybe it's happy in your house. That's why it doesn't want to leave your house. Oh, yeah, we have a cage for them. Like, it's huge. That's where, like, they mostly live in. Two birds, right? Yeah, two birds. Good. How yeah. about your turtle? Two turtles. Uh, yeah, two turtles. <laughs> two of everything. Nice. Okay, Shahina, let's continue share your screen. Okay. Can you open the file and uh, let's continue from where we stopped? Okay, so uh, oh my God. this one, do you stop here? Two GH. Yeah. It total total two per pupils and secondary. Two pupils who paid their school fee through two schemes fourteen times the number of pupils who do not. Find the number of pupils who did not join the scheme. Oh, I did this one. Okay. Uh, so. So, do we divide 225 by 14? Uh, in this question, first, did you understand the question? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, yeah. There are a total of 225 pupils in secondary one. Okay, I totally here we have 225. Okay. And here, they are actually students are making uh, their payments in two different ways, right? Uh, what is it? If the number of pupils who pay their school fees through zero, whatever it is, let me just write here, zero, and uh, not zero. Okay. And it says is 14 times the number of people who do not. Right? So that means how many find the number of people who did not join the team. So how many people are not paying through this team? That is a zero. Let's say it is N. Right? So what will be here then? What will be the number of this zero? That is 225 minus N, right? This is really important because if you're talking about, let's say 10 people, Shahina, let's say here, uh, these people are, let's say boys and girls, okay? So if I say six of them are girls, how many of them are boys? It is four, right? You just subtract. And if I say that, let's say two of them are girls, and how many of them are boys? 10 minus two, that is eight. Now, if I tell you, let's say N of these people are girls. Now, what will be the number of boys? Um, N, 10 minus N, N. Minus N, right? Yeah. Oh, because so together they form 10. So here we have 2,000 people. They are picking, making the payments in two different ways. That is the first method. That is the second method, right? And here in the second method, we need to find this. That's why I'm using N for the number of people who are not actually, who didn't join the, the scheme. So that is N. The remaining people will be 225 minus N. What else is given here? It says that this people, right, is saying that here, if the number of people who pay their zero, uh, school fees through zero, Shim is 40, 14 times the number of people who do not. We are just translating this one. So this thing, right? Two, two, five minus N is just equal to 14 times the number of people who did not join the scheme. That is 14 N. Okay. 
Yeah, we just solve this question and we get the answer. That's it. Is it clear? Uh, a little. Okay, let me let me just redo this. All right. There are a total of 225 pupils in secondary school. Okay, now we know that. Uh -huh. If the number of pupils who pay the year school fees. So now immediately you understand how huh, this question is about the number of students, right? Who are paying the year school fees through Jiro Shim. What is it? Maybe it's like paying online or paying cash or pay, paying by Visa card is something like this. That, that thing is not important, okay? That is that one method of payment. Okay, is 14 times the number of pupils who do not. All right, find the number of pupils who did not join the team. So that thing is, let me just write, how many people did not join this method? We don't know, right? So I'm just using N for this. I'm looking for this. Now we can just make a table here using the given information. So here we have two types of people. For zero, let's say it is G. Not zero, let's say N G. Okay. Okay. How many people didn't join the shim? Here it is N, right? Right. Uh -huh. From here. Right? If the number of people who didn't join the shim is N, how many people left? or how many people paid the school fees through G, zero, since altogether we have 225 people, right? So it's 225 minus N. So it must be 225 minus N. And in the question it's saying that if the number of pupils who pay the year school fee, this thing, right? Well, through zero is 14 times, it says 14 times. I'm just translating this, this one, two, two, five, Minus n is what does is mean? It is equal, right? It is equal. Yeah. Is so it is equal fourteen times. That is fourteen times the number of people who do not. And what is it? It is n. Just put here n. That's it. Okay. Oh, so we have to find n then. Now here we can find this n take to the left, to the right hand side, 14 n plus n, it is 15 n equals two to five. What is n? Two to five over 15, that's equal to 15. Dot, 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 15 pupils did not pay, did not join the scene. Oh, I didn't like, I got the same answer, but like, I don't think I used the math. I don't use this math thing. I, I could I think it in a different way. Can you show me how did you understand this? Um yeah, I think. That that is algebraic way. First you need to introduce a variable because as you hear in this question, now you will do this again, Shahina. Okay. We we need to find this thing, right? So actually we need to label with something. We need to introduce variable for this. Then after that, make a connection using this variable. A formula equation and solve it. Solve this. That is the power of algebra. If you just use this method, Shahini, you will see that even if the questions are very complicated, by using this method, introduce a variable and using your variable, you know the unknowns and formula equation. That equation shows how things are connected to each other and solve it. Once we get the equation, you know the rest is very easy. Okay. So, NG is 200. So, it says non zero, right? So, it is N. Under this NG, let's write N. And since altogether we have 225 people, the remaining people must be 2 to 5 minus N. That is N. And then, actually, the third line, so I think we don't need anyway, no problem. So now read the second part of the sentence. I mean, the problem. Uh, if the number of people, can you read it? If the number of people who pay their school fees through charity. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, stop there. 
You are saying that if the number of people who pay their school fees, what is it? How many people pay their school fees through Jiro Shin? Uh, I don't it, know. It, it, this thing, right? As you see, this one, right? Yeah, two hundred twenty-five. Right, Shahina. What is it? What does actually this this thing represents? Uh, the number like that paid through zero. It's the and number of pupils who pay their school fees through zero shim, right? Yeah. Good. As an edge. That <laughs> that's all of these things is. If the number of people who pay the school fee through zero shim, that is, we are talking about this number. We just put here two to five minus n is what is is it is equal equals to 14, 14. times 14 times now n. the number of people who do not that is n two to five minus n equals 14 oh I should write it up okay. So, two, five minus n equals to 14 times n. And then we do negative n minus n. Instead, instead of writing minus, why don't I take this negative n to the right hand side, Shahina? Oh, so n minus n. Wait, and if you can just, zero. because if A equals B, that means B equals A, right? Then you can just interchange their places. So it's N minus N? No, 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 no. Take okay. negative N to the right hand side, Shahina. Can you just add N to both sides of the equation? What do you get? So, so you're saying, so that's n minus... No, it's just two, two I'm saying that, minus n, 14n. So, Hannah, can you take this to the right-hand side? What happens? Oh, 14, I, I see, I see, I see. Oh, yeah, that's 14n, okay. Uh, 14n. N minus N, which equals to 13. Not minus, Shahin. If it's minus N, take to the right hand side, it becomes plus N, right? 15 N. That equals to 225. Just hold up. That's 15 N equals to 225. Let's try the line. N equals to 225 over 15 equals to 50 times and 50 times 200 Two big numbers, Sahina, as you see in the first chapter, if you remember, prime factorization, right? Immediately this 2 to 5, for example, 15, we can just simplify like this. We know that the last digit is 5, right? It's divisible by 5. Um, so 22, 2 to 5, that is, if you divide by 5, what is it? Can we divide this by 5? I actually just, it is 45 times 5. So here we have three times five. Cancel each other. 45 is divided by three, it is 15. Oh, okay. Also in this way you can simplify this. Okay. okay. So, so the question is, right, 15, 15 pupils did not join the sheep. Did I join? The scheme. Okay. Shahina here, did you understand everything, but still you are not sure actually what you did here? Yeah. Um, wait, which part? 
I mean, any part, like for example, immediately if I ask you this question, can you solve this? I think. Yeah, we will see. Let's continue, Shahid. Now we will see. Move to the next question. So I know that, that 2H done, you have to delete it. Otherwise, later you may get confused with this. Yeah. $4,800 is divided by three brothers. A, B, and C. A receives three times as much as B, and C receives twice as much as B. If B receives X dollars, form an equation of X. Okay. Um, so we're going to do uh, what page? This is A, B, and C. A receives three times as much as B. So B equals X dollars. Okay, very good. And A equals three X. And C equals 2x. If uh, if b receives x dollars, form the equation of x. So this is 3x, x, 2x. So, what are these 3x and x, 2x? China, what do they represent? They are the body. Oh, they are their shares, right? Yeah. And what did they share? Four thousand eight hundred dollars. Very good. That means that the sum of money must be equal to four thousand eight hundred dollars. That means three x plus x plus two x. Right. To, okay. Yeah. The, all right. Plus x plus two x equals six x. Right. 6X. No, no, just write four thousand eight hundred. No, for don't simplify. For row. For the equation, then you can simplify. That thing is it. No, no, no. Why are deleting all? Shahina here, as you see here, these guys, they are sharing this 4,800, right? And the uh -huh. first guy, he received how much? Three X dollars. And second guy, he got X dollars. And third uh -huh. one, he got two X dollars. That means that the three X plus X plus two X it should be equal to 4,800. This is our equation. Oh, okay. Then you can simplify and solve it. So, okay, I see. So that's $4,800 goes to 3X. No, no, Sahina, I just explained okay. to you. you oh, this okay. one, you have already drawn table, right? You should understand from here. This A received this much, B received this much, C received this much, so their sum equals 4,800 because they shared this money. Dollars, okay. That equals to 6x. Okay, I see. Equals to $4,800. And let's just go down. X equals 2. Four thousand eight hundred dollars over six times eight equals forty-eight. That was six times eight hundred equals forty-eight. Yeah, that's right. Six times eight is forty-eight, right? So it is eight hundreds. Hundred. Okay. So now, Shahina, change your pen, pen color under this three X. Can you write their shares now here, here, um, and here, and here? Write their shares. Okay. 
So eight times three, then I mean, that's two thousand four hundred dollars. Why not? Uh, how about these share? Eight hundred dollars, and that is two x. That's sixteen hundred. Wait, no. ah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So X. Okay. Actually, if you solve these problems like this, you know, I can see everything. Everything is clear here. Okay, Shahina, let's move to the next question. You are working too hard today. Can you solve the China? Three, four minutes, okay? I don't give you any hint, any help, all right? After you just tell them, Mr. Gaz, I'm done, then we will discuss this, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, you want to tell me that. Three, uh, four, two, the bags, okay. Five, two, okay, five, two, three. But those, all of this equals to $450. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's... 3x equals to two times the car is the wallet. So that's two times. Two x times two two x two x so that's three x minus two x equals way. I think I did something wrong. Read the question. If if something is wrong, read the question again. Okay. Uh, and can you make a table first, like write wallets and the handbag, and you don't have to write the whole thing. You can just use the first letter of these words. Let's say this W and H. W and H. Okay. So that's three X. And no, if a wallet costs X dollars, Sahina, it says if a wallet costs X dollars. Right in the question. Can you see that? Yeah. If a wallet costs X dollars. So let's say write X dollar under the wallets. Okay. And that here about now you can just read it. A, a handbag costs twice as much as a wallet. So it is 2x. Don't write like this. 2x. Okay, so 2x. So the wallet is so as there's two. And the other thing was 400. And the first part of the sentence, can you read it? The problem? So you want to do it, but it costs $450. Stop. Okay, stop. What does it mean, Shahina? Can you write this in labels? Three uh, wallets. Three wallets. What does it mean? It means three times W, right? Plus two handbags. Two times H is cost means it is 450. Now you can substitute here. Three times what is W? It is X. Plus two times what is one H? One handbag is two X. Equals 450. Okay, so it's 3x plus 
h that's 4x equals no, no, first four write it one by one so that you understand otherwise okay. right two times you're substituting their value right two times two x so can you can you write from here the top from here they have a lot of space okay um so yeah, you can just draw a line and continue from there. Uh, 3x plus 2h, that's 2 times 2x. 2x equals to 450. 3x plus 4x equals 450. 3 times 4, um, x equals 450. And then 2x equals 450 over 7. That is 5. Oops. Is seven times. Yeah, some closer to this number. Which one is? Six. Yeah, you can also with long division you can divide this. What is it? Over seven. Six and three over seven. Okay. No, 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 not like this, Shahina. If you divide with I mean, long division, seven. Forty-five. How many? Six, right? Six times seven. Yeah. 42 subtract it is 3 30 it is oh. 4 4 times 7 28 so here we have 2 so what is it oh, that yeah. is 64 right it is 2 over 7 I think I forgot about the 0 64 2 over 7 okay 4 2 over 7 so x X equals 60 over 7. But we need it in a decimal form. Yeah, you can just leave in decimal form. Like we can use a calculator for this kind of question, Shahina. For the final answer after you simplify this. What is it? And okay. since we are talking about the money, right? Just leave your answer correct to two decimal places. What is it? Eighteen point two eight five seven one four two nine. What? Yeah. Eighteen. Why did you divide four hundred fifty by seven? Four hundred fifty is divided by seven. Oh no, I did a. Uh, okay, that is sixty-four point two eight five seven one four two nine. Yeah, just can you leave your answer correct at two decimal places, Shahina? So that is dot okay. dot dot. Just x is uh, x equals x equals. equals 60, okay, four points. Four, Okay, now right here, Sean. Always when you're leaving this, because we are estimating here. Right here, two decimal places. Two decimal places. Two. Decimal. Okay, because that means that it's not the exact answer, but when we just, um, what is it? Round off this, correct the two decimal places, then that's the answer. Actually, that is the answer correct to the small places. Okay. So, what are the four consecutive numbers to 750? Oh, oh, I did this. Um, what uh, are the four consecutive it, numbers? Whose sum is 50? Well, I think it was 12, 30, 14, 15. 
Okay, yeah, can you solve this? Uh, can you just write those four numbers? Uh, 12. No, no, not like this, Shahina. I mean, here we are using algebra. Even if you know the answers, you need to show your method here. So, like this, let n be the smallest of these numbers. Okay. So if n is the smallest number, we are talking about four consecutive numbers, right? So the first one is n. What is the next one? It is n plus one. What is the next one? n plus two. What is the next one? n plus three, right? Plus three. So that's yeah. equal to 50. Now you have to solve this, okay? These are four consecutive numbers. If it is, if the first number is 10, those numbers are then 10, 11, 12, 13. If the first number is 15, then it is 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay? Okay. So I'm just saying that I'm introducing a variable here. N. Now, if you, you can just simplify and solve this. One, two, three, four Ns, right? Four N. One plus two, three, three plus three, this is six. That's equal to 50. And four N, Shahina, now you can do some calculations mentally. 50 minus six, it is 44. So n is equal to 11. So those numbers are dot, dot, dot. The, the question is, what are the four consecutive numbers, right? So that is, that is 11, 12, 12 13, 13, and 14. 14. Okay, you should solve like this, Shahina. Okay. So okay, do it again. Let n be the small. I, I, can you just change this question? Can you just write there, let n be the largest of these numbers? Can you solve it? Largest? Yeah. Okay. If n is the largest, how would you solve this question? Say, let n be the largest of those numbers okay. or of these so, numbers. Uh, by the uh, plus plus, yeah, and plus, plus, uh, minus 5, plus, uh, minus 2, plus, uh, minus, okay, okay, that's, that equals to 50. So now, we do, Simplify. Can you remove the brackets and simplify? It's just algebra expressions, right? And the okay, collecting so the like terms. Four n right? plus negative one plus Wait. negative two plus negative three. What is it? Okay, that's... It's like negative 1 plus negative 2 one. plus negative 3. What is it? It's 4. It is negative four. 6. Wait, really? But I thought... Well, Shana, I what is negative 1 plus like... negative 2? Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. What is negative one plus negative two? Oh, because <laughs> I, I thought it would be equal yeah, to one. I think that. you are a bit tired. That's why, actually. You know this word. I, I know that. One. Yeah, it is negative six. Why right? negative okay. one plus negative two? That's because this thing, right? Here we okay. have negative one plus negative two plus negative three. Negative one plus negative two, it is negative three. Negative three plus negative three, three. it is negative six. It's negative six. So that's. Negative 6, 4n minus negative 6 equals 50. Okay. No, no, it is plus, Shahina. Where do you get that minus? Plus, we are adding. Actually, Shahina, what you have to do here is, first, you need to remove the brackets. So here we have n in front of the brackets plus, so it is plus n minus 1. In front of this one is plus, so nothing changed. n minus 2 plus n minus 3 equals 50. 
Now, n plus n plus n plus n. It is 4n. Negative 1 plus negative 2 plus negative 3. It's here, here we have something like this. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. What is the common factor? Negative 1. Take minus out. So here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. That's equal to, here we have minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So here we have minus 6 equals 50. No, you don't have to write, Shahina. Now you practice a lot of questions. Now we are seeing that you, you should know this by this time. So it is just minus six, Shahina. Why you get confused again? Here, here, wh why? Oh, yeah. Here, just minus one, minus two, minus three. What is it? This just minus six. Uh huh. So, four, four, here we have 4n minus 6 equals 50. Take 6 to the right hand side. 4n oh, okay. equals 56. And divide by 4 is 14. 50 minus 6. Oh, no, it's plus because we add that. 4n equals to 56. Which, let me just do that. Okay, n equals to 56 over 4. Equals two four times fifty. No, Again, you forgot see fifty six. How did you divide this? Fifty six over four, forty plus sixteen oh. over four, right? Oh yeah, forty plus and plus four. <laughs> oh, I was. Gonna but I was doing 50 plus 6 instead. No, no, here, I think, Shahani, you are a bit tired. That's why 15, I can I can see that. 4, that's 10 plus 4 equals to 14 again. So that is n equals to 14. Yeah. But here, the question is, Shahina, what is the question? Read the question. What is it? What is the four? Four the, consecutive uh, numbers. So you have okay. to write here four consecutive numbers, not n equals 14. Okay, okay, we got 14. What is n? n is the largest number, right? So if n is the largest yes. number, what are the what are so the other three numbers? 14 by the three, that is 11. Oh, okay, right then, dot, dot, dot. Those are 11, 12, 13, and 14. 11, 12, 13, and 14. Da, da, da. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Ah. Save. Okay. Shahina, can you go to that folder and the Delete that 2GH done. Do we need that file? Do you need that file? Can you uh, see the no. next to it? GH done. Uh, you, can, you should delete this because just save this file and uh, that's enough because you can get confused. Again, you may delete this file. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Ahina, let's talk question two, and I, we will finish this class, okay? Okay. If a number is troubling, it gives the same result as when 28 is added to it. What is the number? Okay. That's... Okay, now, after reading this question, Shahina, read it fast for the first time, and for the second okay. time when you're reading this, 
read a bit slowly and try to understand every sentence, every word if possible. Okay. So it says, if a number is traveled, right? Okay. What is that number? We don't know, right? So it's like... So just right now, let, let x be let a number. Right, let x, x be a number. Be, uh, the, uh, don't, don't, I hate when that happens. Okay, let x be a number. Okay, so now and using this thing, we can write an equation. Is treble, what does it mean? Like multiplied by three. Or like okay, three, three x, China, don't write like this, write three ah. in front of x. Okay, three x. No, no, okay. after this, sir, China, you should not make such mistakes because we practice a lot. Always number is written in front of the variable, right? Treble means yeah. we are multiplying x by three. We are not multiplying three by x. Okay. So, okay. so, so it is, three, yeah. Okay, very good. Is not is treble. Then continue. So Give the second two, part. It, says it gives the same result as when twenty eight is added to it. So like x plus twenty eight or is it twenty eight? Yeah, x plus 28. Plus 28. So what is the number? That means we need to find x. What's the number? Okay, so that's 3x minus x equals to 28. So that's 2x equals to 28. Okay, and x equals to 28 over 2, which equals to 14, dot, dot, dot x equals to 14. Uh, yeah, that is a number. The unknown number is 14. Now it becomes known. Can you move to the next question? Let's see what we have. Okay. Question three. What is question three? When a number is added to another number five times as large, the result is 24. What is the first number? Okay. Can you do it? Uh, yeah. Right, let, let x be a number. Uh, x. Uh, not Shahina, let's instead of x, let's use y. We are using x a lot. Let's x use let y be a number. Uh, uh, okay. So y is added to a number five times as large. So, so it's y plus 5y it equals 24. So we need to find y. So that's very good. 6y equals to 24. Why does it to y? 24, y equals to 24 over 6, which equals to 4. So, da, 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 y equals 4. Okay, Shahina. Now, save it. Save it. And uh, can you send it to my WhatsApp immediately? Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, let's because at this, I'll just... No, actually, where we stop this in case uh, if you lose this file, send it to me. That's we were at page six, right? Yeah, so let me go to WhatsApp. As you see, everything is recorded, China. All your work is there, it's not gone. Like, sometimes I have no idea why, but like. When we do it in class, it does erase a lot, but like, cause like, when I'm always saving it before I'm like about to send it to you, it saves like normally, but when I'm about to send it to you, it just reloads the page, like like last last class, I think. And... Tahina, as I told you one more time, okay, you can also talk to your father. This Microsoft Edge, it has this problem. I don't know why. Also, I'm going to ask. Sometimes when you save it and close it, okay, it may uh -huh. save this in different folder. 
most probably you save those files in different folders. That's why you cannot find it. I tried to check, but like, I don't think it was there because like I saved it and you know how like it reloads after you finish saving it. Uh. So it reloaded, but like some of the work was like God. Except but the one that I first saved. When you, when, you, when you do this together, it's always there. Now we have no problem. Yeah, but that's why it's so confusing. <laughs> I don't okay. understand. Oh, Shahina, you're just clicking the save button so quickly. Don't do that. When you just save button, click on save. Now click on uh -huh. save. Yeah. Yeah, click on it. As you see here, the folder name, always check the shiny. Is it in the right folder or not? Sometimes, actually, it, it, it puts this in different folder. As you see here at the top, it is in chapter two exercise, right? Ah, it's in the right folder, it's fine. But if you yeah. just reopen this, close it, maybe you power off your computer, open this, and open this file. If you save this, for example, it may save this in different folder. I don't know, actually other programs, they don't do this in Microsoft Edge, somehow it does like this. It happened to me a lot of times. Like I open your homework, I just write uh -huh. some notes when I saved and later I couldn't find. And I actually wonder where is it gone? And where is it gone? And so I wait. realized that it's saved in different folder. Uh -huh. Now that's why wait, I so always check this and change the folder, then put this in the right folder, then I click on yes. I mean that save it. So I think you are having did, that problem here. Did your work like was saved in a different folder or like was the whole file like saved in a different folder? Yeah, it just saves it somewhere else. But again, you just open this, two different files, the same name. Somehow it is somewhere there because it's not gone. Actually, this computer doesn't do that. The save so document is always somewhere in the computer. Okay. It's okay, not a big problem, Shahin. At least now, I think you're getting better and better. Now you know how to save it. You should just be a little bit careful. Don't click the save button so quickly. First, make sure that it's in the right folder. So you are doing yeah, a, a chapter do. two, right? It must be in folder, chapter two folder, okay? All right, uh, next thing is Shahina. Immediately, say, can you send it to me now? Okay, yeah, you send it already, right? Okay, let me have a yeah. look quickly. We stopped at page seven. Okay, as you see here, I can show all your work here. Maybe you cannot see this well. Anyway, everything is here. I can check this very quickly how you did this. And it looks so beautiful. I can see all your work, what method you use this. I'm expecting you to do like this. I mean, if you're okay. fine writing on Wacom tablet, if you get tired using computer, you can just print out the paper and also you can do it in the paper, it's fine. Whichever is good for you. Shahina. Okay. And number two, Shahina, now after having some rest, we need to focus on solving these problems, okay? Try to solve this. I will send you some more questions after you finish this. We will practice this until you become very comfortable with solving this kind of problem, Shahina. Because if you don't understand well, next time, every time you will have a problem. That's why you should understand this part of the chapter very well. Solving okay. equations, now you are really good. You can solve all the equations. Now, understanding the problem. As you solve more and more problems, you will see that it gets better and better. When you look at the problem, immediately the equation comes to your mind. Then you can write the equation qu quickly. Once you can write the equation, then we can solve it very quickly, okay? Okay. Now, Shahina, try to finish this. I will send you a revision question also. Also focus okay. on this, the 2GH, okay? And the, as much as you can, all right? You don't have to finish as much as you can. All right, if you could finish, just immediately send it to me. Until Monday, okay. that's your homework, okay, Shahina? Okay, um, I did like, I finished the 2GH, but like the work uh, deleted, but should I send the ones that were like, I took a picture of? No, if, if because... you have already finished Shahina, keep doing here like this, like we did, okay, save it. Until okay. I see your math, it's not accepted. I wanna see your work, how you did okay. this question, okay? And write yeah. all, everything here. Oh yeah, uh, so before like I saved it, cause like I didn't want to take the risk of like if it's like what happened, cause I saved it and then I deleted it and I didn't want to risk it. So I took a picture before I saved it. So I have like all the work from the empty um, pages. 
So should I just send you the? Uh, so the you are pages? you are saying the shine is this two G? Did you finish two H? Did you finish all? Yeah, I finished this whole uh, page, but like, it deleted. I have the pictures on my mom's phone. Okay, if you have so pictures, send them to me. Okay. Two. If okay. you have already finished, I will give you different questions. You try to solve those questions. How about review questions too? I didn't send it yet, right? Of uh, this one? Review questions. Oh, it's there. This one, okay. Right? Yeah, no, we no, did no, some. No, 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 not this one. Not this one, Shahina. This not is just, this one? this one is different. Yeah. I, I'm telling you about this thing. Let me just show you that. Uh, okay. This is Shahina, review questions. A2, review questions. This one. No, you haven't said that yet. Okay, I will send you this, Shahina, until Monday. Then try to solve these questions, okay? Okay. Should I solve, like, everything? Or, like... Yeah, everything. Bye, Actually, Monday. how many questions okay. we have here? Here we have 20 questions. I showed these questions before. We solved them together, but I wanted to solve them again. And after that, yeah. I will ask you these questions again. You will have a kind of test, or I ask you, Shahina, you said that, okay, you did this question. 18, for example, can you solve it here? Also, if you can actually solve this question without any mistake, that means that everything is done. That means that you actually, how to say, comprehended everything pretty well, so we can move to the next chapter, okay? Okay. Good. Shahina, I will send this. That's your homework until Monday, okay? Okay. That's enough. Thank you very much. See you next Monday. Bye-bye. Okay.